Well folks, good morning. Finally getting out. Off to meet Maverick. Off somewhere with a by bridge and horse I think. Get a coffee. Goose can't make it. Nor Viper. So my first real ride with anywhere to go on this new bike. Which so far I'm really pleased with. Shame we haven't got a nice dry day, but hopefully the rain will stay off now. I've had this bike now since uh, a few days before Christmas I think I've done a total of about 11 miles but every day the same story, you get up rain or wind and rain the one thing <coughs> about buying this bike Obviously it's a naked bike. When I first had it I thought oh, I'm not too keen on this little screen on the front. I'll take it off and I can't be doing much. But uh, wow, was I wrong. The wind that hit me when uh, doing 60 miles an hour even. It was that uncomfortable. That the first thing I did when I got back home was put the screen back on. And uh, I mean, even at slow speeds, I can tell the the screen's doing uh, its job. So that's going to stay now. Going back to changing the bike from the the CBF thousand I had before. As everybody who knows me will know, I used to say it's the perfect bike for me because. The height of the position, the general riding position, you know, plenty of power. So why did I change it for this? Well, in all honesty, I didn't have any particularly good reason. Other than I'd spotted this on the website, a uh, local bike shop in Kidderminster. And I just kept looking at it, admiring it. Anyway, the week before Christmas I had to go up there to book the Honda in for a service MOT. And of course while I was in there I couldn't resist going over and having a look around this. Which was probably the fatal thing to do. And then I got chatting to the bloke in the shop about it. Then of course I started wondering what sort of deal I might get as a part X and I didn't get a bad deal overall I was hoping for a, a little bit of a better one but uh, of course the, <laughs> the fact I want it the rest is history I've had a bit of ribbing about uh, what I'll do now I've got this bike because I have got a bit of a track record to say the least of putting a load of aftermarket parts on on the, both the GSR I had and the uh, CBF and I've made a point to saying that that's it, I'm this one, I'm not doing it, I'm leaving this almost completely stock and of course uh, nobody believes me I'm not even sure I believe myself 100% to be honest but uh, time will tell now I've been over this bike <laughs> did some ACF 15 on it yesterday and I've got to say it's in the best condition apart from possibly the GSR because that was that was in very good condition this might even be slightly better than that actually but all underneath where on the CBF 
I was finding rusty places, bolts and stuff, and I was touching up here and there underneath with hammeroid. On here, there's literally nowhere that needs any of that, thankfully. It really is in good condition. And all the parts where you just can't normally see unless you're lying on your side looking underneath. The one thing that was definitely better for me on the CBF was the fact that the seat was so low even I could put both feet flat which was great on this one it's about the same height as on the GSR I think it's 795 mil and I can just put the balls of my feet down which is alright but when you've got to paddle the thing back if it's not on dead flat ground then I've got a bit of a problem then I'll probably have to get off and push it. Uh, one thing not quite so good on this bike if I'm honest when you're starting it from cold it takes about five seconds to fire which is quite a long time I think because both the other bikes I had and even the bandit before them used to fire within about two seconds or a bit roughly air, yeah, certainly no more than two seconds this one seems to take five seconds but as long as uh, it doesn't take any longer than that it's got a new battery on it so hopefully it's just one of those things I get used to it there's no mod cons on here things like traction control and all that, not that I miss it because I've never had it it's very basic just like the CBF was, I haven't even got the heated grips on here but I don't want them to be honest because I always felt what's the point of heating up the palms of your hand when it's the outside of your fingers that really get cold so now there's no mod cons no retro clocks which I love of course in the middle I've got the fuel gauge and the trip so that's alright pity there's no gear indicator on it and I suppose one point which I've seen other people say about it as well which I agree with it really ought to have had a six gear there are only five gears on these uh, XJRs which seems a bit odd so fix had a new bike he enjoyed his CBF thousand, he loved it. He did some tours on it. But he's brought a new bike for Christmas. So we're now going to go and meet him at Goose's Garage. This is Goose's Garage because this is where Goose had a puncture. So it's been renamed. It's no longer Shell, it's Goose's Garage. So we'll meet at 12. Oh! Bugs just died. What happened there? Died again. What's happened? What's happened here? Oh, here he is. Oh, he is the main man. Hello there.
How's it going? Merry Christmas, Vic! How are you doing, mate? Are you all right? Are you right? Yeah. She's a big girl, Anna. Yeah. It's a little bit higher than the uh, CBF, but I'm, I can't flat foot this one both feet, nowhere near, but I'm all right. It's just if I've got to paddle it backwards, yeah. if it's uphill, I'll have to get off and push it back. So. Look at the pipes on it. Yeah. What's it like? Is it smooth? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's not so clunky on the gearbox as the Honda was. Yeah, it's busy. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I filled this up with the good stuff here. It's um one thing I don't like about this, when it's cold it takes five seconds to start on the button. Timed it. The other bikes used to kick off within two seconds. I'll just switch this off a minute. So here we are. We've met up with Motorway. So Motorway's on a little bit of a review on the way down here. I don't know what he said, but I'll find out when I edit. So just before me and Vic head out, we've just been talking about this E10 fuel. And I've been experiencing some issues on my VFR with this E10. Now, I hadn't used the bike that much over Christmas, and the bike had been left for five weeks standing. And then, come to start it, it wouldn't start. It was smoking, it was like it was misfiring. Once it got going, it, it was all right, it wasn't too bad. Didn't have not noticed so much of a lack of power. I've noticed a big difference in fuel consumption but so anyhow on the way down here you've probably just seen i got to the traffic lights and it cut out and the fi light was flashing the fuel injection system pulled up here onto the forecourt and it was still cut out again so i've just filled it up now with some some decent petrol some 99 octane right so yeah so me and Victo are going to go for some new year late breakfast stroke lunch and we're going to talk about his new bike, the XJR 1300. So yeah. you ready? You ready, sunshine? Yep, I sure am. Right. So tell me, Vic, why did you change the bike? <laughs> did you not? Did, was there something about the CBF you didn't like? Uh, in all honesty, no, <laughs> nothing. But. As I, is it this uh, one? No, we take that no, one. Is it sorry? Next one, isn't it? Yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, as I previously said, I'd spotted this on the website on the local bike shop in Kidderminster. Kept looking at it, no intention of doing anything about it. And then I had to go up there to book the Honda in for service and MOT. So of course that was fatal move number one. So is, is that when you saw the bike? That's when I first saw I'd been looking at it online. It was the first time I'd physically seen it, yeah. So of course I ended up chatting to the bloke and uh, then I started wondering what sort of deal he'd do me. And like I said, it wasn't uh, quite the deal I was after, but I just couldn't resist it in the end. Yeah. You fell in love with the bike. So you, you didn't go there with any intention to buy a bike then? No. I went to book the honour for the MOT and the service. Which I'd already just done in the shop. So that had to be cancelled. I say she's a she's a beautiful looking thing. She looks a big girl. Yeah. Feels chunky and meaty. But uh, nice and smooth. It's uh, I can feel the tyres sliding around a bit. Oh, they're new tyres though, aren't they? Yeah. I suppose you've got to get, you just got to get that waxy coating off the surface, haven't you? Yeah, I think so. I've got to say, looking in the mirror, she looks, she looks the part. Yeah, it feels great. Oh, it's lovely and comfy. I mean, so was the Honda. I can't say it wasn't. 
there was absolutely nothing wrong with that Honda it all suited me fine it was just that I wanted this I've got to be truthful whoever has that Honda will have a good bike yeah it was a good bike were that yeah and looking at it and you know I've sat on the bike myself it's not too much different of a riding position is it no it's very similar just feels different looking at the clocks and everything and yeah the the width it feels wider it looks wider yeah it does look wider in the mirrors but it doesn't feel any heavier because i don't think it actually is it's about the same weight as the honda so you've put the screen back on then yeah the screen i say i took it off because i wasn't that keen on the look i thought they looked better without the screen but I couldn't believe how much difference it made. I was being buffeted all over the shop. So as soon as I got back, I put the screen back on and it's so much better. Even a little screen like this, you wouldn't believe how much difference it's making. So what's the what's the gearbox like? Because Hondas, they're quite, they're quite agricultural and they're quite a clunky gearbox. Yeah, the, uh, the gearbox is great. It's nowhere near as clunky as the Honda. It's uh, the only thing I don't like about it, and I've read this, practically everybody who owns one of these bikes says the same thing. It's only got five gears. Oh, right. So it's a hard. Yeah, for some reason, they haven't included a six gear, and it really could do with one. It is, I've got to say, the engine looks absolutely beautiful on it. And the exhaust. Yeah, that's right. As, as you know, I've, I've always admired that Kawasaki Z900RS, but there was no way I could afford one of those. It, they start at 8,000 up, good second hand. Yeah, come up, come up the side of me, Vic. Come past, let's get you on. Let's have a look at your tongue camera. Yeah, she does look a big girl. It looks, I've got to say, it looks a really comfortable ride. Yeah, it is. It is nice and comfortable. Yeah, the moulding shocks on it. That yellow looks nice against the black. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It stands out a bit. Look. No, we're turning right here, Vic. Okay. It's got a beautiful sound to it. Yeah, it's a job for me to gauge that, because uh, obviously when you're on it, you can't... It's, it sounds meaty. It sounds chunky. Yeah. Is, is that the standard can? You up? Is that the standard can on it? Yeah, it is, yeah. It's completely standard at the moment, this bike. And that's the way I'd like to keep it. Well, Time will don't, tell. You don't need, you don't need any modifications to it. Uh, where are we going, yeah. straight on? Yeah, straight up. I said it'd be nice to get that, just that guard on the oil cooler, just to protect it. Yeah, they. Uh, I think that's one thing I'm going to have to have is a guard on there. I put one on the under, on the radiator. So. I think this oil cooler is going to have to have one. Then you're going to get smacked up with stones. Yeah. So looking at the mirrors, are you going to try looking at mirror extenders? Well, I've got to be honest. Now I've got this this uh, blind spot mirror fitted. I can see perfectly now. I know it's only small, but I've got a good view behind me now. Yeah. I do like the look of the mirrors on the bike. It's just as mirrors, they're not much use. Yeah. It's the same with these on the VFR, it's most of the mirrors, I'm just looking at my elbows. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way it is on here. I mean, without that blind spot mirror, I couldn't see you now. Yeah. I suppose really you don't want the mirrors extending further than the bars, do you? And your mirrors are in line with the edge of your bars. Well, yeah. Like when we were doing that filtering on the M5. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a test and half. Good, he was. Panniers a lot. Yeah, all the luggage on. But nobody did. Nobody had a scrape, did they? No. Piggy said I got very close to it at once. <laughs> he was behind me. He said, bloody hell. I thought, thanks, Pig. That's filled me with confidence, that has. 13 degrees. Can you believe it? You what? 13 degrees. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to get to 15, isn't it? Yeah. I say this climate change, if winters stay at this temperature, I'm happy with it. Yeah, exactly. And me. Yeah, see, this has been fine. It ain't cut out at all. No, uh, you got the good stuff in now, you? Yeah. It's for the 90% uh, good stuff in your tank yep. now, isn't it? I think it's like 
I think it's like having alcohol-free beer, in it? Someone yeah. just ain't right about it. Yeah, I think that's a good description for you. How much did it cost you to fill up today? 22 quid. 22. Uh, so I think I've got... That's, I think I've got an 18 and a half litre tank. Yeah. I've tried to think now where you get up to High Town. I've only walked up there before, which was a, an absolute killer. Yeah. I've got to be honest, you know, when I picked this bike up from the shop last, well, week before last, it, uh, it had a, just under half a tank of fuel in it. What the hell? I can guarantee the Honda didn't when I took that in. <laughs> <laughs> so you letting us go? No, no, There's got to be a calf somewhere up here, isn't there? Yeah. Surely we can park somewhere. Pretty sure there's motorcycle parking somewhere. Is that motorcycle parking there where the bloody market is? Uh, probably. It is on a solo motorcycle. Yeah. Pretty great. Well, we can't park there now. Then. Nah. We'll go around the other side of it. Oh, can you see what will happen here? We'll end up going back towards home and going to that one stop. <laughs> Just something to put the market on where the motorcycle parking is. Yes. <laughs> they don't give a about bikes. Uh, He's parked yes. over there. Solo motorcycle will we get? <laughs> right. I reckon. I reckon I can get in there, Vic. You'll be okay yeah. up there. You can't get in there, can you? I reckon I will. Will you still be able to get in this car when he comes back? Oh, fair play. you got a bit more room than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, you're right there, that's fine. Well, I'll go all the way back. There we go, we've had a lovely bit of a breakfast, breakfast stroke dinner. That's me and Vic seeing in the new year. Well, that was a nice little uh, breakfast stroke dinner, Vic. Yep, that was nice. Enjoyed that. Nice to see you in the new year with you. Yeah, too right. Glad we made the most of the weather as yeah. well. I'd have hated to have wasted this day. 14 degrees, Vic. 14. 14 now is it yeah. well you can't argue with that no 31st of December and it's warmer than it was in spring <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the roads are nice and dry now as well yeah a bit of blue sky for us on our way home Vic yeah it's great isn't it days were built for bikes yeah. days like this I think this has got to be the best New Year's Eve day I've ever seen yeah, but they said it's going to be the warmest on record if it yep. is 15 degrees, I think. Nice to see a few bikers out today as well. Yeah, they are, yeah. Can't blame them, can you? I think I'm all doing the same. Everybody's bloody yeah. itching to get out. Well, you know, at least we're, we started off as we hoped to go on in 2022. With plenty of rides on the bike. I'm afraid Goose has missed out today, yeah. isn't he? i tell you what, with today's weather, you could easily have done a trip to the coast, yeah. couldn't you? Exactly. The, the only thing is, of course, it gets darker early, that's yeah. the only thing. You're limited with the amount of hours daylight you've got, aren't you? Yeah. Widen into a bit of winter sun. I'm really enjoying this ride today. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad we did today, really am. Nice way to finish off the year. What a lovely view. Yeah, you haven't got to travel far really to get a good view, have you? No, you haven't. But if we forget to say it later, from me and Motorway, 
Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you for watching. Happy 2022, yeah. hopefully. hopefully. Can't we'll, be much worse. No. Hopefully we'll have some new adventures for you for 2022. We've got a few plans already uh, sorted, haven't we? Yep. It's quite fitting, really. We managed to get out on the uh, last day yeah. of the year. The last day. Well, it does seem to be, though, if you notice, Vic, anything to do with winter, it only ever normally seems to be me and you. Yeah, <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Is that telling us we're the most stupidest in the group? I think we probably are. That come bloody dancing, this is. Well, Victo, it's been a pleasure spending 2021 with you. Cheers. And I'll see you next year. <laughs> you will, yeah. Rides, tours. Yep. Breakfast. That's it for, for me and Vic for this year. So it's good boy for me and it's good boy. Yeah, from him. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>